Hello there guys, it's Martha Mew here and today we're back for a second part of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online and we're opening some Guardians Rising and Ultra Prison packs which are the probably the two best sets from Sun and Moon so far. So um, let's get cracking into these packs I think. So start with Guardians Rising. Let's see if we can pull any online tabulators. Get straight into this guys. Ah, it's fine. God, I want to see the type of lilies come rolling out. Just, uh, just not a Um, Yeah, guys, if you enjoy watching these kind of videos, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for some more um, upcoming videos. I will make sure to do some base battles, and we're going to do some um, deck building, and uh, we're going to also do the um, like inside challenges as well, which will be really awesome. So, um, yeah, because there's, there's like, like a little story that goes on in here, which was what I did in my very first episode. So if you would enjoy watching that, please make sure you give me a subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Um, so we have an Alolan Ninetales GX here. That's pretty awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure the deck that I've built on here with Alolan Ninetales, I actually had to trade for some of the Alolan Ninetales that I used because we didn't actually pull any. So it's nice to see it eventually. It's a little bit annoying that obviously we get it now. But obviously there's a trading feature on here so we can trade stuff off if we don't need it. So obviously only need four copies of anything on here because you can use it in multiple decks. So we've got a wishy-washy GX, which takes so much energy to do. <sighs> cool looking card though, but it takes so much energy. Oh, maybe clicking. Whiskash. 18 packs to get a tabby lately. Do you think we can do it? No, because, you know, we wouldn't use them. We've got that secret rare death for the secret rare ultra ball. Spoilers, it. spoilers, guys. If you haven't watched the other video, they're. Oh, hello. Secret rare candy. <laughs> secret rare rare candy. See, it never happens in real life. <laughs> we get a Lunala <laughs> non. Um, Yes, a, a normal Lunala, which does. This time, there's 40 times the amount of psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. And Wings of the Moon does 130. You move all energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. So that can be quite some nice energy ramp, especially if you know the 130 is going to knock something out, but then obviously it's going to get a revenge KO. You're not wasting all the energy. And that secret rare rare candy, we all kind of, I believe we all know what rare candy does, right? Evolves from a basic to a stage 2 in basically just by using this card, as long as you've got the um, stage 2 in your hand. Pretty awesome. Always be on the TCG. Can we get this lucky in real life? That at some point? red card that we told the secret does not count. <laughs> it's not a good card. I'm pointing that out. I got back, Jarosol. Gary? Some people probably think that Pikachu Red Card's good. Is it personal opinion that it's not? Whiskash. Didn't I say I wanted to do the deck on that at one point? Is it about self knowing? The Whiskash, I think it is, yeah. Waylord. What's my problem with doing self knowing decks? I'm going to sit with the ball with it. And Blissey and Oracle. Trash Lunch Garbador. I might as well call that card Trash Lunch. It doesn't have the other one. Gonna use Sand the Trash Lunch. It's not used for a card. Yeah. Ice Cream Cone! <laughs> Comfy. Oh. We've six packs to get. Seven packs, including this one. Yeah. Come well, on! You pulled three secrets. Doesn't matter. This is, this is a TCGO. Anything can happen. Let's go. <laughs> Anything can happen. Got a little meerkat here who keeps uh, popping his head up every time. Tell me 
Zombies! That's an interesting Pokemon. Your metal Pokemon's attack to do 10 more damage to your opponent's active, which is a basic Pokemon, and I forgot about it, and I may need to revisit that card. <laughs> you need to revisit that exactly. I can put you down for 5 seconds. I need this in there, but I want this in there. Ooh, that that in there. This needs to be in there, but that needs to be in there. That has to come out, but it needs to stay in there. The problem is, guys, I want two stage twos in, in a deck, and it doesn't work. One more back! Yeah. Um, no Tappy Lele. Oh, come on, Tappy Lele. Ultra. Aww. Aww. Oh well, Ultra Prism. Dawn Wings. I want the Dawn Wings. Is that the only thing we really need? And the Dawn Wings. This Dawn Wings main we need for this. Got the two of them on now, so just give Dawn Wings. Ooh, that Tappy Lele is pretty. Although you are getting that tin on this, so you're going to get Dawn Wings at some point anyway. Cool. So I just need to try and pull a door wings. Because there's some there's some decks on here guys that I really want to profile and um, type null and a guard jump. And then there's some that we might just have a bit of fun with. Why not? Yeah. Kind of what this is for. <coughs> Typing. Yeah, I'm not sure how the. Uh... Again, oh! never happened in real life. Lily <laughs> fell out. That Lily is so nice. It would never happen in real life. <coughs> oh, so pretty. I know we've pulled full art trainers before, but. Um, how I got a free pack blister, but. And they got the Gardenia. Recently? Oh, yeah, they got the Gardenia. Mark. Bam! <laughs> I've got a dang this one reason that I move you like this. Yeah, I like that Missing flavor. Mark when they're in Hippowdon. Oh, unit energy. What can I do that with? Mm. All the secrets I get all done. Mm. Yeah. I also want to, you know, point out this pad, Teresa. This is the uh, fridge of your bench Pokemon that has nuzzle, um, the nuzzle attack. Search your deck for a lightning energy card and attach it to that Pokemon. We are now actually getting a Pikachu that has nuzzle. So, um, may revisit the uh, <coughs> Raichu GX from Shining Legends at some point. Just as a fun deck. I don't, I don't know that it's going to be any good. Solgaleo Prism Style. For some reason they put it in the rare <coughs> spot in here. Which I guess is right, but cool. Solgaleo Prism Style. We didn't actually pull this before now, so that's really cool to see on the TCGA. Wait, but did that say new, did it? it I know it's new, <coughs> because um, I've already built a deck on here revolving around Solgaleo, but... Uh, wasn't it? Oh, Full Art Leafeon! I think that's actually the third one of those that we've got. Probably. So you can take out the one that's in a deck and just run it all Full Art. Um, I mean, yeah, having to blame the deck on TCGO is all great, yeah? <laughs> yeah, woo! Full Art Glaceon! I think this, that's the third one of those. Oh my gosh. Can we get some Dawn Wings? Full Art Dawn Wings is actually really pretty. With their smarts. So Unnecessary. <laughs> Just need to pull Dawn Wings. That's the only thing we need from this right now. Oh, the rest of it doesn't matter. Dusk Mane would be nice too. McGinn and another Mars <coughs> I saw there. Yeah. <coughs> Zerkatree. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> Why wasn't Ulala what you We saw this in doesn't. real life as well. Prevent all damage to this Pokemon from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them. Double colour energy is pretty rife, 
so that's um, not too bad of an ability to have at these at this point. Infinite. Let's burn do more damage. Another infinite. Licky licky. Sixteen packs including this one. And Sazzle. Wings. There we go. Yay. That's what we wanted. So invasion is pretty <coughs> pretty useful in basically is going in my Solvali deck. Um, because once during your turn, <coughs> before you attack, obviously, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. So um, it's like basically like rush in from the old Caldeo that we had. Um, and because it's a basic Pokemon, um, it can take the place of an active Solvali. And because Silvali's ability says any basic Pokemon have no retreat cost, this can basically just come straight out of there. Um, so yes, that's why it's amazing in Silvali deck, personally. You may see um, Pokemon Day matches come back and we may actually have a physical um, match with that at some point. We got a Magma Zone Hollow, which is awesome to see. That's also a really cool card for all the metal that's coming out as well. Um, I do expect to see that somewhere in um, the Pokemon World Finals and Regionals and all that. Cynthia! <laughs> Just point that out. Yeah, I really want to see a metal deck do well. I think um, Duskmane is going to feature in that. We've got a reverse Cynthia there as well. We've actually got a full art Cynthia on this. Um, this save file as well. We've got a Giratina Prism Star. When you place Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, during your turn you may attach two Psychic Energy cards from your hand to it. So, obviously Energy Ramp, and if you use this with the um, Lunala that I was talking about earlier, it's a little bit, obviously you can place two Energy using this Pokemon, and then one for turn. So you can effectively attach three Energy for turn using this card, um, if you've got enough Energy in hand of course. Um, which is pretty good because then you can psychic transfer it all off using Lunala's ability and then you've got access to obviously more energy in a turn which is obviously very good. Pheromosa, which is pretty cool. Only comes in full art in this set, that's why I'm not getting too excited. It's a uh, promo otherwise. Palkia, which is getting its um, water typing, which is so much better than the um, dragon typing because you can use Aqua Patch with it. And because it takes so much energy to do, Aqua Patch is obviously going to be nothing but amazing help. Let's see, coming down into the final couple of packs here, I think. Nothing in that one. Six packs left. Lunala Prison Star, so I actually have a lot of the components I need to try and do this uh, this deck that I've seen. So basically this Lunala is amazing for late game. Its first attack lets you get energy from the discard pile for each bench Pokemon on your opponent's side of the field. So if you've got a full bench and you've got a lot of energy in your discard pile, you could end up putting a lot of energy from a discard pile into active again. And um, into play, sorry, again, but it doesn't, it goes to them anyway you like, so it doesn't have to be active, or you can put it to, to itself, or a couple to, to itself, and do uh, quite all, all of them to itself, and do quite a lot of damage with Side Storm there by the looks. Um, so, yeah, why not, I guess. Pretty cool card. They're obviously just techs, they're not really meant to do too much damage, but oh, we got a circuitry in um, Rainbow Rare, or. Pretty cool. You definitely pull more of the higher rarity stuff if you get more packs on the TCGO. Definitely. Like I think I think it doesn't really count for like ratios in a box. It just says, "Oh, this pack, get lucky." Super boost energy, also really cool. And we got a hollow ramper dose as well. This Rampardos is pretty cool and I might do a uh, little rogue deck with this at some point. I, pre I I wanted to do some fossil stuff at one point and I couldn't work, make it work or 
work out how to do it. Obviously it's got two attacks there, but one of them works for if your your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, and one of them is pretty devastating for basic Pokemon. Just three energy, and if your opponent's active is a basic, it just gets KO'd. It doesn't matter what's gonna happen there. It's pretty insane. <laughs> I, I think that might be a really cool road, road deck. A Luxray with that intimidating fang. Last pack, guys, before we have to say goodbye. And Mount Coronet. Ah, Lucario. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's what we pulled today, guys. I will make sure I come back with some more videos for you to watch with deck building and more battles and more of the, um, like the, not the tutorial, the trainer challenges. That's what I was meaning earlier. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my videos so you can watch out for more. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.